Hi guys, welcome back to my video. Whichever video you're choosing, if you're on this one, this was going to be something completely different. I wanted this to be more personal because this is personal to me. I started this channel with the intention of righting a wrong and I understand that sometimes that can be an opinion. Um, and in this case, I feel as if it's more than, more than an opinion. Um, recently, I had met someone and I was learning from them and I was getting a service provided um, to kind of help that company as well. Kind of a, a guinea pig, if you will, so that um, we could post my results and just show everybody what the results would be. So it ended recently. It was a professional relationship, I guess you could say. At least I thought it was. I was doing quite a bit of work for this person. Um, posting online, confirming appointments, cutting gift certificates. There was a lot. We had decided to do things for an event. And we had a photo shoot um, downstate and well she had a photo shoot let's not get that twisted but she had told me she was going to get a hotel and that i could come if i wanted to and i said well do you want any money towards it she said no no big deal whatever um, and then we stopped at um, a popular site and she handed me her camera and said here take some pictures and as I'm taking pictures, I'm like trying to show her like I was really proud of what I was doing and she kind of just shrugged it off, which I didn't really understand at the time. And then I'd asked her like, well, when you sent me the file, like, you know, we were just talking about editing and such. And she had told me that her watermark is done by the app that she uses. So mind you, nothing's been said to me about anything. You know, everything is just going. I thought it was going great. I decided to take a video of the pictures that I had taken on this camera um, because I've been taking landscape pictures since 2009. 2009, I can remember the first picture I took and it was, it was of this beautiful tree. It had purple, pinkish leaves or flowers, whatever, and it was in the backyard of my ex-boyfriend's mother's house. You know, I, I just did it because as things I want to remember the beauty and things um so everywhere i would go and i've traveled a lot in my lifetime in states not outside you know to actually be behind a real camera it was really cool and i thought that she was supportive of that as well so i put a watermark on these pictures to prevent them from being stolen and of course i'm the one that took the pictures so i was like okay i'll just put you know, my just gen thing on there and no big deal. Six days, well, let's back up. Um, that was a Sunday that we came home and stopped there. And she, at the end of the trip, had started treating me like really poorly, actually. She had called me dumb at one point because of my relationship status, which granted my relationship isn't the best or was rather. Um, but to call me dumb, like when I've been nothing but supportive and tried to like explain like the bad things away for her and I've lifted, lifted her up in anything that she's done since I met her, like just, you know, the same hashtag I use on every platform, hashtag empowered women, empower women. Like, and I truly believe that if you were empowered yourself, you were, you will empower others. Meanwhile, she's being shady, which I didn't know at the time, um, towards somebody that I also know. And she was telling me things that this person was saying about me and blah, blah, blah. And I fell for it. I did. And I said some things I shouldn't have said now knowing what I know. So I'm doing all this work for this event and the procedure I'm supposed to be getting, the massage that I'm supposed to be getting, I hadn't had, like I've literally had five sessions. I may be incorrect, but in a four week span, I've had five sessions and you're supposed to have three a week. Okay. Are you adding this up yet? So I was a little jaded because also she would like give me 
20 to 40 for the photo shoots as well that I would help on um, because I would be carrying all the bags and stuff like this and the one that we went downstate for there was nothing and she had complained about how she wasn't getting paid and it was wasted for money like the whole way down and then she hands me this money that she got from this this client um, who's supposed to be a friend of hers which she didn't talk like they were friends though um, and I don't want to repeat anything said about other people on here because it is actually pretty hurtful and I wouldn't want to find that out through a video, um, which is why I redid this whole thing. So this woman actually paid a great deal of money. Um, and I found out after she had the money, handed me the money to count it for whatever reason, I don't know why I needed to count it, but that she had, she had been drinking earlier and she said, well, I didn't charge her. So this was just, you know, whatever she wanted to give me. And I'm like, but you just bitch the whole way down at the fact that she wasn't paying you and you are the one that made it like that. Like that doesn't make any sense. Whatever. I let it go. When we get back, she, she sends me the file from all the photos that I've, I, I took down there, you know, cause we had talked about editing and stuff. I edit them and I'm actually on the phone with her as I'm editing these pictures and telling her like how good they came out and everything. And she's kind of just blowing me off. Like it, it doesn't matter that I did a good job, even though I've like lifted her up through everything that she's done rather. Like it doesn't matter how small I was always like, great job. Like make sure you take breaks. Like I was just trying to be a good friend, you know, the amount of bad mouthing she did to every person that she had mentioned to me was just it was I don't know how I didn't see it sooner like if someone talks shit to you they'll talk shit about you and she had continued to treat me like crap like we would always send screenshots back and forth because I was on her page and it always looked different on hers than it did mine. And when things would go awry or didn't work quite right, quite right, I would send screenshots. Well, this time, after we had gotten back, I think it was like a Tuesday or something, and we're sending screenshots back and forth about like my my appointment had been canceled and I didn't cancel it. Like, and I'm like, okay, like how did this happen? And it just happened to be at the time that she had dropped me off at my house. And I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna read into this because I don't know for sure. Like, this page has been acting up for me, so maybe it's just one of those things, you know? Well, still to be determined because I still don't know what happened with that. But, so I was sending her screenshots and she came back at me like, why are you so defensive? I'm like, I'm not, I'm just doing what we always do. Like, something happens and we don't understand it, we send screenshots back and forth so we can figure it out. So she asks why I was defensive and I was like, I'm not. And she was like, well, you've had a hard week, like blah, blah, blah. Like you just need some rest probably. And I'm like, there's literally nothing wrong. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I can feel things. I don't know how to explain this, but I just knew something was up. Something had happened. And usually I'm not a morning person, which I've gotten that under control now. I actually got up at 5 30 this morning so and I went to bed at like 9 30 last night it was pretty awesome melatonin is the bomb but do people say that anymore no okay um but anyway so I usually don't get up early well something had happened that morning for my appointment and I ended up not being able to text her till 10 17 because my appointment was at 10 so I was like hey obviously I was late so I was gonna make sure it was okay if I came in before I come in because I'm late like I've just wasted 17 minutes of your time. So I fully expected her to say like, no, like, you know, cause she had a busy day that day and I knew she did. So she says, no, you're 17 minutes late. And I was like, okay, that's cool. So then I ask her, is it okay if I change my time to work more towards my schedule so that I actually can get this done since it's what we agreed on? And she's like, no, I don't trade time. I don't, change times for people that are trade slash free well one it's not free we agreed on something and to not let me change my time like right there just told me like she's pissed off about something I just didn't know what 
And I was kind of like left in the dark and confused. So at that, at this point, I was ready to just be like, I don't even want to work with her anymore. Like, this is just insane. And I told her like, you know, since Sunday, I feel like I've been treated like shit, like I'm a shit employee or something. And I'm not like I've been helping. I've been doing what you've asked me to do. Morning shifts are not my forte, whether whatever happens, it just never seems to work out. She texts me and says that she basically put the blame on me and I can insert screenshots when I edit this um, throughout this whole time so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But so she calls me after she's done at work. It was like seven o'clock or something that night and it was a Wednesday, I believe. She texts me and, or she calls me and I missed her first call because I was dealing with something here at the house. So I call her back and I explained what had happened that morning. And she's like, well, I'm just going to lay it all out there. I took you down there and I've basically spent over $800 for you, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, where, where? One, I offered money for the hotel. You decided to get two rooms. I didn't ask for one. That was your choice. I offered money. You said no. Literally, I've done more than that in work. Like, a lot more. And I haven't seen anywhere close to $800 in anything. There was even a Halloween party that she wanted me to go to. Well, she said that she goes as My Little Pony. Okay, cool. Like, that's not really my vibe, but like, you're inviting me, I'm with you, so like, it, it'd be cool if we matched. Well, we went to Spirit, and she sees this unicorn thing and everything and I look at the price I'm like I'm not paying that for something I'm gonna wear once and she's like well I'll get it you can just have it afterwards because I'm never gonna wear it again and she buys the little leg things too they go over your shoes or something up to your like knees and they're furry whatever and I had bought suspenders a tutu and rainbow fishnets because those are things that I could see myself wearing again whether it be a photo shoot or whatever but I don't see me wearing a unicorn vest that's all fluffy and has ears and stuff I just don't so she paid for that that was her decision those go to her if I had went to the Halloween party like I would have only wore, worn it once we even got it in her size large because I wear a medium it wasn't really for me like she basically bought it so I could wear it once like and I didn't ask her to like you decided to I don't see how me wearing it once makes that something that you did for me like am I appreciative yes 100% but don't be throwing numbers out for stuff that do that that doesn't even make sense it doesn't I'm trying to figure out where this is all coming from while talking to her. And mind you, I'm a blubbery mess by this time. I'm crying. I'm like, I don't understand, like, what happened, you know? And she continues and she's like, you know, I took you down there and you're using my camera, which she gave to me to use. She said, like, I didn't ask to take pictures. I didn't ask to use the camera. I didn't ask for any of it she handed me the camera and said here take pictures and then she wanted to switch and give me the other camera and take so I could take pictures on that because it was her newer one and I said no I like this one it's okay which I'm glad I did that I'll tell you why in a minute we get in the car and I had put my Apple watch on her because she was having a hard time breathing or whatever and I was checking her heart rate and stuff and you know just being there for her stuff like that got her water out of the backpack you know just trying to be there for her because she she did have a higher heart rate um could be due to no exercise or it could be you know the problems she's had in the past I don't know I'm not a doctor but I do know enough that I can watch her heart rate to make sure she's fine and I know when to call we get back to the car and we're driving and as we're driving I decided to take a video of all the pictures that I had taken on her camera and mind you she's sitting right beside me I edited them all that well she told me that supposedly 
she had people messaging her saying, oh, well now Jen's a photographer, like what is this about? Which I don't even know if I buy that anyone messaged her and I didn't really buy it then. But she wasn't even giving me a chance to talk on the phone either. Like every time I would try to talk, which, which not just that situation, that was just her. Like she wanted to talk about her all the time. There wasn't really any room for anyone else to talk about themselves. She's going on and on and on about how I tried to steal her business and I, I'm just underhanded and shady and she just can't believe that I would do that to her and that I didn't thank her when I posted these edited pictures. Like I thanked her for going down there in person. I was like, thank you for taking me here. I've never been here. But she expected me and I even thanked her for sending me the file with all the pictures. I thanked her for letting me use her camera all while it was happening. I was saying thank you. She expected me to put it on Facebook. Like, I was supposed to thank her on Facebook, even though I had thanked her in person. And I didn't understand that. I still don't understand that, to be honest with you. But... Like, I'm hyperventilating crying because she's telling me that I supposedly stabbed her in the back. And I'm like, one, I didn't know it was a thing that if I used your camera that you told me to use and to take pictures with, that I wasn't allowed to edit them as my own. I could see if it was an event, a wedding, a a shoot anything I could see if I was helping her take pictures then like obviously those would be hers like I get that but us just exploring and me and you handing me a camera to take pictures and then trying to blame me and say I was taking your business like I have no interest in opening a business for photography do I want to get more into photography hell yeah I love it and I'm good at it but that does not you you should never, if you are uncomfortable with something, and she had so many opportunities to talk to me, so many. She could have talked to me when I was taking the pictures. She could have talked to me before she handed me the camera. She, should, she could have talked to me, and she should have talked to me. Any point between Sunday and Wednesday night, she should have chose to talk to me, and also with the other situation with her talking smack about people. I honestly should have talked to the person that I did something wrong to, like, and I forever will be sorry for that. I believed somebody when I should have come straight to that person and talked to them instead, but I did not. I failed in that part. But she could have talked to me Sunday. She could have talked to me Monday. She could have talked to me Tuesday. During the whole process, she could have not sent the file and said, hey, I don't feel comfortable like it was with my camera, like... I'm just going to keep these for myself, which would that upset me? Yes. Because why let me take pictures then? Like why, why? And why not lift me up? Like I've been lifting you up. Why not say, Hey, like you did a great job. Like during shoots and stuff, it'd be great if you helped me out. Like I just don't, I don't see the, I don't see how that's backstabbing when she told me to. She sent the file for me to edit. She was on the phone with me while I was editing. Didn't say a word. I don't understand. I don't understand any of it. And I don't understand more so we put this event together. And by we, I mean she booked the place. She talked to a couple of vendors, which she... When I say she talks smack on people, like, I mean everyone. Like, to see her at this event being like that to everyone, like, supposedly somebody overcharged her um, by $300, and she didn't really want what they got, but yet she saw the first one made and then went ahead and paid and said, do the other 12? Like, I don't understand how that's the other person's fault. Like, that's your fault. You saw it. You didn't like it. You should have said something. So they didn't waste their time making 12 others. Like... And then you decided to pay for it. Like, that's on you. That's no longer on that person anymore. You decided to say, yes, that's fine. I'll pay for it. You had ample opportunity to say something, and you didn't. And then to see her call that person, like, mom, after talking so much shit, bro, like... And then she had made a comment 
at the end of the event to a waitress that was taking the group shot and said, oh, you could just steal my job if you wanted to right now. And I'm like, I don't want it to be personal. And I tried not to, but my sister was there and so was my friend who opened my eyes to a lot of things. But to see them do that and look at me like, why'd she just say that? Like, they knew. They knew And I knew deep down too, but I was trying to like brush it off. Like, no, she didn't mean it towards me. Not only that, there's a sign that I put a lot of work into. Um, I will insert screenshots, like I said. And I had put her photography business on the top of the sponsors. And she was like, no, I want that to be at the top. I was like, okay. Like she wanted to be like presenting with her other business. So I was like, okay, so I redid it and I put my name at the top. I went by who was doing the most for the whole event. And I had done the ribbons, literally just thinking about, like I had called so many people. I I made the flyers, I designed them. I had them printed, I picked them up, I paid for them because her, cl- her card declined. She did pay me back. I don't want that twisted either. Mind you, I'm on workers' comp. Like, I can't, I don't have, I'm not making the $60,000 that she keeps bragging about that she makes, she made this year already. It wasn't really the big deal. I didn't mind putting work into this event or money into this event, even if she wouldn't have paid me back because I believed in it too. It was breast cancer awareness. But the disrespect, the knowing that she's talking crap on all of these people, and then smiling to their faces. And I know she was talking crap about me. Like, I know it because there are people that have stopped contacting me. After she started talking crap about a certain person and telling me that this person was also talking crap about me, like, and she would only show me like certain parts of the conversation to where it looked like she was being like snappy with this person to smile in these people's faces when you just got done talking crap. And honestly, she was talking crap at the freaking event. She was literally talking crap on these people that came to help at the event. Like, she said something else about the the things that she paid for that she didn't want. I was like, do you want me to use one? She's like, well, might as well. I don't like them, but they're here. And I'm like, you... And the the event is when I found out how she really did that because she told me there was only one done and she still decided to pay for them. Like, that's on you, man. That's not on the person that made them. They did what they thought you wanted and you say, yeah, I'll pay for them. Go ahead and make the other 12. Let's them know that that's what you want. That's how you let them know that's what you want. She was on the news. The news came. After her saying so much that she was not going to put this out there like that because it wasn't about her um but during the news broadcast while I'm saying they're recording it she tells them now mind you I have a text message the recording interviews was my idea okay and I don't care if I was paid for the event or whatever it's all of this stuff combined that bothers me Because the comment at the end is the reason I'm making this video. The disrespect is why I'm making this video. To have me bend down and tie your shoe when I have pins in my wrist coming out. And then going and acting like I can't hear you and talking crap right in front of me is why I'm making this video. If you think I didn't hear you, I did. And then you want to message me and say, oh, all because of a sign? Like, this is all because of a sign? One, I didn't know what sign you were talking about until it was brought up to me later. But literally, the vendors on this sign, which I kind of got off track a little earlier, but the vendors on this sign are all in alphabetic order. Except for mine. It's at the bottom. And I did the most work for this. I honestly believe I did more work than she did. And I had mentioned several times, like, because I told her I didn't want any payment um, in the beginning, but when I started not getting the massage that I was 
you know, promised. And then you tell me I can't change my time until you verbally, like, yell at me for something that you told me to do by taking that camera and taking pictures. I'm supposedly stealing your business, but you told me to do it. And then yelling at me for that and then telling me, oh, yeah, I can change your time. Like, you weren't going to. You said you wouldn't, but now all of a sudden that you've yelled at me and whatever, now it's fine, you can change my time. Like, I feel like if you really didn't change people's times for things of that nature, you wouldn't have changed mine. So, not to mention, I had mentioned that I did not have any gas money because I ran it all out going and doing all this stuff for the event, which I was proud to do. But I had mentioned after yelling, after she yelled at me, or it was before she yelled at me, when she said she wouldn't change my time, I said, well, then I just want to be paid. Like, I would just, like, reimburse for my time and effort. She ignored that. I had sent something again. I said, I'm not going to tell you not to pay me. Like, I'm okay with getting paid because I need it. Again, I was ignored. But then this event... And then her bringing up the sign just kind of told me, like, after it was brought up to me, like, that you meant that. Because why would you think that was the issue if I didn't say shit about a sign? Like, one, mine would have stood out more and we probably would have had more people from downstairs. That's neither here nor there, honestly. But it's just, like, she had told me so often, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do whatever I can for you and I know you... I, I just want to make sure that you're okay because I know you're not working. You think that unicorn jacket that is technically yours that I didn't want is going to pay my bills? You didn't actually want to pay me. I got We got each other's Venmos weeks ago. A week and a half ago, maybe. At least. Nothing's been done with it. And every time I mention payment... You ignored it. But let's be honest, anything that I said about me, you ignored too. In the beginning, you were great about listening and all of that. But as time went on, it was all about you. It's just not okay to tell people that you're their friend and to make them feel like you're a good person and then go behind their back and talk about them like they're garbage. I was going to post on the video the one that has been affected the most. And it's so funny because she wanted to blame me for stealing her company or her business, whatever. But yet that's what she literally physically said in a text message about somebody else's. Like, I just want, I just want people from there. And not to mention the place she used to work before. I've stolen 15 of their people. You're doing it to other people. That's why you feel other people are going to do it to you. But you can't hand somebody something of yours and say, here, take this. And then act like they somehow snatched it out your hands. Did some work with it. Took the SD card without you knowing. And made it look like, no, no. That's not, that's not what happened at all. And believe it or not, West Virginia is a one party consent state. Meaning that all of the recordings that I have of you calling people ditzy and dumb and trolls and their business is tanking and you only paid that because you wanted to help them out, but it wasn't. And now you see why they're going out of business. Like, not to mention what people are doing in their personal lives when we know what you're doing with yours. Okay. I'm not going to air that dirty laundry. But you need to do better. And literally, this event, my name could have been nowhere. I could have gotten zero recognition. I mean, on the news, you went went ahead and told them, yeah, there's going to be a YouTube video of interviews, my idea. And when they asked where to find that, you mentioned your page. You can't even tell them my YouTube channel? Like, that's how you want to do that? Like, you, you said it's not all about you. It's about these women. 
But you're not even going to give them the information to find the interviews? Really? And I'm a person of my word. Like, I showed up to that event knowing I damn well didn't want to. I made sure that you had a shirt to wear that was unique and had your business name on it. Thank you to AB Designs for that. I also took control and made sure they had a design on them because you were busy, which I get. But when you are busy and I'm trying to ask you what goes on the shirt and you say just handle it because you're busy and I handle it, you don't have the right to say, well, I, I, didn't, I didn't know it was going to be like that. Well, I, that's exactly the way I said it in text. I can post those here too. The end of this video will probably just be all of the text. messages of what we've talked about here but I'm disappointed I'm disappointed a lot and talking about a 16 year old's teeth and saying that they're never going to make it because of their teeth that girl is beautiful whether she has straight teeth or crooked teeth and I honestly don't think they're that bad you can't even notice she's a damn good model at her age and I've learned from her and saying the things that you've said about people is one thing, but then to say something about a child, I bit my tongue the hardest that day. But I also was recording, so I just was like, uh-huh, yeah, I get it. And if you notice, I said that a lot the last, what, week and a half, two weeks? Because I finally figured it out. You need somebody to talk about you with. You need to be able to bring other people down so you feel better about your life. You want to brag about those businesses? Go ahead. But what's on the inside is sucky. And I don't want any part of it. And the only reason I'm doing this video is so that it doesn't help. It, ha it does not happen to someone else. And hopefully, just hopefully, you'll actually watch it and learn from this. And realize that there's more to life than just talking about yourself and talking down about others or to others. And maybe you can put yourself in somebody. I mean, you even talked crap about the boy you call your kid. Like, when it first started, you had nothing bad to say about anyone except for, you know, the one that I actually fell for and believed you. And thought that she actually was tearing my name down in the way that I pose and stuff like that and just blackballing me for no reason but to talk about the kid that you supposedly raised said that he was so helpful and driving you around when you're tired and all of this and then it goes to he's probably wrecking my house right now he said he was going to clean it but it's probably a disaster like how about the effort? How about you just say thank you for the effort? And you never actually thanked me. After Sunday, and I took those pictures, you haven't thanked me for a thing. And if you have, and I missed it, then I apologize. I'm wrong. But I didn't feel very appreciated. And you messaging me... <laughs> And directly screenshotting it. What does that show? Right there. Because I know you saw where I said I record everything and I've got screenshots of everything. So you're trying to make it look like you don't know what's going on? Because I have literally everything. So if I wanted to, I could put it all out there. I might not have pushed for us to talk about me a lot, but I was learning. And unfortunately, I didn't do what was right and talk to the person I needed to talk to when you first started spilling garbage out of your mouth. And that's unfortunate, but I learned from that too. And I intend to do better in the future. Next time I will talk to somebody instead of listening to what others have to say about them. And that part is on me. And to that person, I truly apologize. I just don't want to put your name in here because you're, you don't need to be associated with this at all 
one thing about me doing YouTube is story times are kind of a natural flow on here. And one thing I intend to use it for is to bring awareness and truth to situations. And it doesn't have to be like, it doesn't have to be your truth. It doesn't have to be. Anybody that's watching it does not have to be your truth. It's literally just my opinions, how I feel. And in this circumstance, it's what happened. And I have proof for every single bit of it. I don't delete things, ever. Just a forewarning for anyone that wants to be my friend. Um, I have been done wrong so many times that turned into them playing the victim. And I know exactly what that, that I know that that's happening. I know it is. And yes, I deleted every post that I made on your page because I worked hard for those. I literally Googled and learned and that was my knowledge I was taking back. That was my energy I was taking back. I think five sessions of the massages that covers everything else, right? But you don't get a gain. I mean, you already have a lot of my followers, 700 worth. So there's that. So before you go talking about how I deleted things from your page, don't worry. I screenshotted everything that had my name on it. And that is the only content that I deleted. Because you don't deserve to have any more of my energy. And after this is out, you won't. I'm taking all that back. Every good thought, every, I don't know how I feel about taking back prayers. I don't know. I guess I'll pray on that. But all of the good energy that I pushed your way, I take back. That's, that's not allowed to be yours. That's mine. And I do hope in the future that you do better and be better. Because if you want to know why things aren't working out, personally, it's because of the way that you behave with others. I shouldn't know the things that your clients talk to you about. I shouldn't know that. When I'm on that table, I shouldn't be hearing stories about your clients. That's not right. Actually, I don't know how that follows, but I'm pretty sure that's illegal. But I know a lot more than I need to know. Anything at all from anyone else on your table is more than I need to know. That is not my business. But you had no problem telling me all of it. So, to everyone else watching, I appreciate all of you. Um, even the negative comments I learned from. I haven't received one yet. Um, I don't think anyway, um, but even if it does come, like I fully expect it on this video actually, um, but I'm just telling my truth and I will be putting the screenshots in the end of this video. I cannot promise that it'll be in order. I can't, but I will do my best, but I hope you guys have a great day and I will hopefully be seeing a lot more people do better and being better and I will also do better and be better and I will see you guys next time thanks for listening to my story time bye guys Hi guys, I just wanted to add this in here real quick. If you pay attention to the screenshots, you can see where she had ignored anything I said 
And also one of the screenshots, it says that she just wanted KMF photography on there. And then when I only added elites at the top of one of the posters, she was like, no, I said I wanted both of them up there. And then that wasn't the case. Um, it just all around just this whole situation has affected more people than I'd realized. Um, and I am truly sorry if anyone else gets tangled up in her mess. That's why I'm posting this video because apparently there are a lot of people that want answers and I'm willing to give those answers. She has hurt several people already and she needs to take accountability. And if I have hurt anyone, definitely let me know and I will take accountability for sure. Um, but I definitely fell victim to circumstance. Um, um, I definitely don't like that I played into hurting someone else because I believed someone instead of talking to that person, which I have said before. And I will make that up with the person that I did that to. But for everything else... Like me saying at the beginning, yes, I, I don't want any money. It's because I believed that I was going to get the massage therapy. And then when she canceled the week I had surgery, I understand canceling the day I had surgery. But when I say like, hey, I'll just need an extra minute or two to get dressed. And you say, no, just cancel them. I don't feel like doing it anyway. And then trying to blame me for them being canceled. No. And then the day you were talking about you went out of town, you were on your couch all day. You didn't go out of town because you canceled because it rained. You made every effort not to let me have payment. And there was also a time that you gave me money for the poster and, or the flyers, and you had given me an extra 40. And you were like, well, it's for your meds. No, we had done two photo shoots that day. Two. And that extra $36, it wasn't even 40 because the total on that receipt was 64 something. The $36 was for me carrying everything, the tables and everything, to that shoot over the hill in high heels, mind you, which I didn't mind, but don't make it seem like I canceled anything or that you were paying me extra because you wanted to make sure I had what I needed. And also that was in the beginning of this, the first two weeks when you actually still paid me. And then I had asked you to buy me chargers. And then you said, just give me the money when you get it. And I didn't get paid for that weekend. That's when we went out of state or downstate. So no, I'm, I'm definitely, like I said, after this video, I will not mention another word about it. It's not worth my time. I just don't want anyone else to fall for the BS that I did because it hurt other people. It hurt me. And then she went along and played victim and claimed that I was being the exorcist. That's bull. Anyone that knows me knows that I will pick up a worm off a hot sidewalk and put them in the grass so they won't die. I have nothing but love for people. And I am also very gullible, unfortunately. And I'm working on that. But those are things that I realize that I have a problem. I need to fix those. And I'm taking accountability. She needs to as well. And this needs to never happen to anyone else ever again. You guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.